IRS just announced new changes in a program that was supposed to provide free tax preparations to millions, a deal the IRS cut years ago with big tax firms. If they would offer free help, the IRS agreed not to build its own software to do it. Turns out the free help has been too hard to find and often steered people to paid services. Paul Keel of ProPublica investigated. By way of background, has there been a lot of discussion over the years that the IRS ought to make it easier and provide a free way for people, especially of lower incomes, to file? Yeah, I mean, so this goes back to the 1990s. You know, everybody used to file on paper. Um, and there was a big push to get people to file electronically because the IRS saved a lot of money. Those sorts of proposals have been something that Intuit has viewed as a threat and have tried to stop. What power do companies like Intuit have, or TurboTax have, to try to prevent something like this? What do they do? Well, they, they have an army of lobbyists. I think we counted this this year. They have over 40 lobbyists on Capitol Hill. You know, they spread their contributions uh, around Congress. And also, I think they're able to make the arguments that people find persuasive in part because the IRS is not a popular agency. So they're able to make arguments like, do you want the IRS you know, preparing your taxes and also auditing you? On its face, it sounds like a good thing that TurboTax and Intuit would come up with a program to let you file for free if you go to their website under certain conditions. But it sounds like you're saying that's sort of a end run around the notion of really making it easier and free for people. Right. Well, I mean, the main thing to know about this program, which goes back to 2002, is that very few people actually know about it. So last year, under 3 million people used this program which is you have to find it's sort of like a secret door on the IRS's website. It's the, called the free file program. And if you make it to that page and then you file a link back to TurboTax, then you'll absolutely have a free uh, tax return uh, filing, uh, both federal and state is what they're offering right now. But very few people find that secret door. One reason for this is that Intuit and H&R Block have these free offers that they make people. So if you Google on the internet free tax prep, What's going to come up usually is like TurboTax and HR Block saying, hey, free. Um, but it's, it's a marketing ploy. Both Intuit and HR Block um, stopped Google from indexing their pages because they didn't want people, if you Googled free tax prep, they didn't want the government program coming up. How can they stop Google? Um, you, can, you can put language on, like, you know, basically code on your website that says, Google, no, don't read this. Were you able to find out how many people do use the free program that's available through the IRS? So it's under 3 million people, which. Uh, 100 million people are eligible, you know, supposedly, um, but no more than 5 million have ever used it in the whole history of the program. Uh, but nevertheless, the IRS claims that this is a successful program. Can you quantify how much that industry, the tax filing industry, spends on lobbyists, lobbying, and political contributions? I think we totaled was over $30 million that Intuit has used and uh, spent on, you know, lobbying over the last uh, decade or so. Um, it's an enormous return on investment, given you know the billions of dollars that that, that they've made in profit. Um, so it's you know it's a good investment. Can you tell is whether one party, political party, or another political party is sort of pushing? You know, a lot of times it's one against the other. Well, they've spread around their money pretty well in Congress, and they've gotten bills introduced uh, by both members of both parties. One study found five of twelve companies that partnered with the IRS used coding that hid their free services from many online searches.